Yeah, 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 it's that time. It's prime time. It's your boy, it's your host. It's High Speed 30, a.k.a. Hell to the Redskins, a.k.a. I'm standing at this fucking chopping block, and we got us a star-studded show um, for you guys today. I got a lot of people on, so... Let me introduce, well, first off, let me give a shout out to my man, Matty Ice, not on the broadcast today, but he definitely doing this thing behind the scenes. But I got my man, KP, the real KP and only KP. What's good, bro? What's good, Dynasty? How y'all doing? I got my man, Chris Murray in the building. What's good, Chris? Feeling good, man. First time doing this, man. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Absolutely. And we got my man, the king, the king of, uh, I call him the king of the AFC South. We got my man, Vitamin. What's good, Vitamin? What's good, man? Ready to roll. Let's get this popping. Absolutely, man. Hey, it's been a long time since we did Dynasty Primetime. It's just mainly been logistics, but we we back. We got a, a great show for everybody, but it's a little bit different today. But we're going to start the show off with... As I call it, Dynasty Primetime Top 10. Now, we got 10 teams. We don't we didn't go off of daddy leagues. We just put them in. And uh, you know, this is our top 10. If you don't like it, do something about it. Get some W's. Alright, so look, let's start with number 10. Our number 10 team on the list is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Chris Murray. What's up with your Steelers, man? Y'all number 10 on this list. Yeah, man, we uh you know, not, I'm not surprised to see that uh, at 10, but um, I feel as though that, you know, still a couple uh, holes that we got to uh, address. I feel as though, personally, maybe not where I envision us to be at, but hey, man, I made the list, you know, I'm happy to see that. Absolutely. You in that tough, tough right now. That's a tough AFC North division, man. You got Eddie Five in there. You got the Browns yeah, doing his thing. Uh, my man Houdini. And uh, the, I think all of y'all at least like five or six and two, right? Yep, yep, it's a dog fight every year. I mean, that division is a fucking dog fight every year, man. It's crazy. Yeah, but you got the, you got the, you got Flash Gordon, one of the fastest motherfuckers in Dynasty, besides Miles Hagerman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how has that receiver changed your program? It made a lot of defenses have to respect the deep ball. You know, like to me, in any league, I don't matter, don't care what leads you in. You gotta respect speed, no matter who it is. So that you know allows uh, you to get a lot of other guys open. You know, you use the um, use them in decoys, making cut. Well, I don't want to give it no free chicken, but use them in a lot of different type of decoys, and it opens up opens up a lot, man, a lot on offense. So I think with him acquiring him and made the guys really have to respect the deep ball game, Pittsburgh, man, because he gonna go up and get it, no matter who it is. Absolutely. All right, so look, let's go ahead and go to number nine on the list. We got a surprise in number nine, man. I don't even think this dude been on any list at all in, in Madden 18. <laughs> we got your boy Tone Dog with them Denver Broncos. Hey, uh, King Vitamin, what do you think about the Broncos being in number nine? Yeah, I played them earlier this year, man. It was a good game. Uh, things kind of opened up out there in the AFC West, man. You know, uh, the Chargers uh, right now don't really have an owner. I think Ness is going to pick those guys up, man. But he has the opportunity to make some noise right now, uh, being the way that division is set up. So, I mean, you know, he hadn't been in there, but uh, I think he's deserving, man. Absolutely. We had a, a Chargers user that came, came by for a glass of lemonade, and, and then he rolled the fuck out. Fuck the team up. Traded yeah. McDonald. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Got a glass of lemonade and said, fuck it, this shit ain't for me. These motherfuckers are better than I thought. That motherfucker wouldn't get no wins. And he and he rolled out. So that opens up the door for uh, Tone and for Darkness to possibly get that division. Let's look at number eight. We got the Cleveland Browns and Houdini. KP, what do you think about the Browns right now? Have you uh, got a chance to look at them? So... He's what his name says. He's a disappearing act, and then he pop up and he rocking and rolling again. But if he be, if he can get that consistency rolling, I think he can be a serious threat. But right now, he'll fight for a playoffs. But I don't see him as a championship contender. Well, it's, it's no serious threat because I looked at the schedule. He's beat nobody. So you know who he beat? Keith Sweat. Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> he beat nobody. No, his schedule was so light and. <laughs> As my man, I think it was a coach I was listening to, my man said, you got to harvest your nuts. And so, 
I'm gonna give Houdini his credit for harvesting his nuts in the first half of the season, but that shit gonna come. It's gonna get real the second half of the season. We'll see if he can take that momentum that he built early and get into the playoffs. All right, let's look at number seven on the list. We got my man, the Philadelphia Eagles. We got KP. Um, started out six and zero, had two losses. Blowouts. Um, tough games. <laughs> What'd you two, say? I said two blowouts. Oh, man. Hey, you still on the list at number seven and six and two. So, um, w- what's been the struggle in the last couple of weeks that you had them two losing efforts? Accuracy. My quarterback's throwing it directly to a safety if you try and throw a post route. If you throw, like, anything that you try and throw over the middle, he's throwing this to the safety or a linebacker, like, directly to them. I mean, I give credit because the defense there. But I think there was at least three picks versus Vitamin alone that were directly to his players. Like, he didn't have to move them or nothing. Vitamin, you played the Eagles. What, what do you think about the Eagles, man? Y'all, y'all, I think y'all ended up getting, I don't know, like 40 points, I think it was. What do you think about the Eagles at number, what were we at, seven? Yeah, man, definitely worthy of the spot, man. You know, he's six and two. Uh, his quarterback didn't play very well. Like he said, he was throwing me some uh, some balls. And you know how once the ball get rolling in mad, man, once you throw two or three, they just keep on coming, man. But definitely, he, he's deserving <laughs> at the best spot. Absolutely. Speaking of that spot, we got number six. We got your uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. How you feel about your season so far? Man, we kind of have mixed feelings about this season, man. Now, our team is built on, on our defense, and the defense hasn't been playing like we really wanted them to. Uh, on offense, we pre- we pretty much been drafting offensive linemen, no wide receivers, and nothing like that. So we're looking to address that to where we can get the offense to uh, match that defense and see if we can make a little bit of noise, man. But it, it's not, you know, always comfortable being mentioned in the top ten. But I really appreciate it, though, man. Seriously, man, you took some defensive studs, though. You got your stud D tackle, and then I seen later on in the second round, you got a superstar defense end. Yeah, man, Griffin Route, man, he's been making some noise for us, man. So uh, hopefully we can get those D tackles, man, to uh, take some pressure off of him so he can uh, turn it on in the second half and get some more sacks and some more turnovers for us, man. All right, let's look at the top five, man. We got number five, we got your boy, um, the Miami Dolphins, tight work. Hey, Chris Murray, what you think about the Dolphins being the number five? Is that a good spot for them? Yeah, I think they're right where they need to be at. Like, you know, I think he's comfortable in the spot where he's, uh, you know, where he's at right now, if sitting at five. Yeah, I think his last loss was week three, I believe. Since then, he's been on, what, four-game winning streak. So I think it's that second half of the season where he's starting to get into his flow, you know, and he's always a threat, you know, always a threat. You know, he's been there, won a dance. So I think he's comfortable where he's at. Absolutely. He's had he's had his troubles and struggles the last, i say, two seasons with – uh, Sweets 99 yep. The Jets So uh, That's going to be a hurdle That he's going to have to overcome If he plan on winning the AFC East Alright so look Let's move on to number 4 We got a surprise right here to me We got C-Rob and the Panthers I think they I think they only lost 2 games today Or they lost 3 now I'm not sure But um, We got them slated at number 4 Um what, what do you think about them, them Panthers, uh, KP? Did you get a chance to play them yet? I don't think so. I don't think we played this season. But, I mean, he's on a tear right now. He's, he's being able to score the ball. That's what's getting him. His defense is giving up points, but they're scoring the ball, so it doesn't really make a difference. As long as you can outscore the opposing team, you can keep rolling. Absolutely. That's a surprise to me for him to be at number four. Um, really, this whole list is surprising me because in my mind, I feel like the Washington Redskins should be somewhere on this list. But we had a tough start, you know what I mean? But in my mind, I'm not afraid of anybody on the list, including the hot tub, which we do play this week. He got away with murder the last game, but we'll we'll push that behind because it's all about uh, playing in the playoffs. So let's move on to number three. We got uh, the Jets. Speaking of the Jets, uh, Jets in number three. Um, King Vitamin, I think y'all, y'all, did you play the Jets this year or, or was that last year? Yeah, that was last year that we played. Uh, and then I played them once in the playoffs. Uh, I won that game. And last year I lost in the regular season. And I think I lost him in the playoffs the, the season before that, man. But he's definitely deserving of being uh, right where he is. I'm still trying to figure this guy out, but uh, he's got a good team. He made some good plays. Uh, I think he had sort of not the draft that he wanted this year, but he's a good enough player to where he can uh, make up for a bad draft like that. 
Absolutely, because he drafted a fucking bum in the first round. No, no lie. Uh, that was a wasted pick. But um, he's winning. Um, he's on top of the division. So hat, my hats go off to him. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens when the playoffs come and, and, and uh, you know, see what happens. Um, at number two, we have a, a familiar face. We have Addy Five sitting at number two. Now, Chris Murray, that's your division mate, man. That dude's been winning the division every year since the, since it came out. Yeah, man, listen, playing him, uh, I've been in the division, I think, going on three seasons now. He's just a guy, man, that takes away whatever you like to do, makes you very uncomfortable in the, um, while he's on defense. He takes away, like, whatever you think you want to come out to do, he takes it away, you know, it makes you have to think. Like, I tip my head off to the dude, man. Like, it's been a battle ever since, you know, I joined the division with Planey, man, but I'm not surprised to see him at number two with the way he's playing this year. He came out, man, like a man on a mission. Like, he's trying to get to the dance this year, man. Absolutely, um, man. Addy's a good user for real. Like in my mind, he's definitely, um, probably in the top five as a user. Um, but he's definitely a good user. When I play Addy five, some you got to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Some users, some users, you can just go out with the same game plan. It don't, it don't even matter. I could just run the same plays, run the same game plan, but. With guys like Addy Five, you're gonna have to set stuff up. You know what I mean? Right, you can't right. just run your 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 uh, stock game plan. You gotta run this so he can react to that, so then you can do this. Um, you know what I mean? That's the type of user Addy Five is. But um, and that's the type of user this this number one guy who ha- is who's on a phenomenal winning streak that's about to come to a close. We got Hot Tub at number one. KP, our division mate Hot Tub. What do you think about them being at number one? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's uncontested you know, on the field, off the field. I fucking hate it right now. Uh, I'm used to being able to compete with this guy, and I'm fucking playing like shit this Madden. But uh, hopefully, we'll pull it together. Uh, I know you got strong competition for him, and and we've beaten him before. So it's, I mean, it's it's nothing to really be concerned about. I just need to get my quarterback where he need to be. But high times playing lights out still. Uh, he's very very consistent. Absolutely, he's he's definitely consistent. Um, and and that, that's not let, let me not say you know say this to throw shade on the dude, but the team is uh, the the CPU that he has or the team that he's built. When you get a, when you get all them wins, you get all the extra, extra XP, especially playing in a hundred XP league. It's very difficult to compete. You know what I'm saying? Because that the XP that he's getting. He getting XP for backup linemen, and they don't even do shit. They going to the Pro Bowl getting 30,000 XP. You know what I'm saying? Some of some of my guys ain't getting 30,000 XP in three or four years. So that makes a difference, but the dude's definitely beatable. He's on a major winning streak. Um, we'll play probably today, tonight, maybe. We'll see. I got to see what type what, what, what the schedule look like. But uh, we definitely plan on beating them. We lost the last game by like seven, lost the last game by like three. But um, we're definitely ready to um, dethrone <laughs> dethrone the Cowboys, as I would say. Um, speaking of dethrone, let's move on to our next segment. All right, our next segment is new to Dynasty Primetime. Um, it first rolled out on, I want to say, um, the show uh, with Chris Murray, right? Didn't y'all have a panic uh, segment? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so now we we stole it. <laughs> and we, <laughs> we definitely stole it, man. And this segment's called Panic or Patience, man. And our first uh, discussion or topic of discussion is these Buffalo Bills with the curse is it the curse or is it just the user, man? Because I'm telling you, that Buffalo Bills, have y'all got a chance to look at that Buffalo Bills team? Uh, they are stacked with talent on top of talent. Man, they make yeah. their top five draft picks every year. Exactly. It's crazy. And he won't trade. He won't trade me nothing, goddammit. <laughs> on, some, on some honesty, man, just watching every single, single, every single season this year, man, I think it's just a curse. It's every year it seems like every top five pick that he get gets hurt 22 weeks like it's just crazy and i don't know what it is because you gotta remember him uh him with top he was beating everybody ass for man uh first drop 
he was going like I'm talking about he beat me by like 30 points when me and him played the uh friendly but when he got into the connected franchise mode just like everything just went away absolutely hey King Vitamin have you had a chance to just eyeball and review the Buffalo Bills roster <laughs> man that team is damn loaded man yeah man that team is stacked He's got all the pieces pieces in place, man, to make some, some moves, man. But I think the thing that hurts him is uh, he turns the ball over too much, man. If he can just cut those turnovers in half, man, he can at least be in position for a wild card because he plays good football, man, on, on the defensive side of the ball. It's just that offense, man. He just, just turns it over too much. But, yeah, that team is stacked. Absolutely. Turnovers will kill you, man. That guy, man, he got a guy, Fisher Patterson, that middle linebacker's a stud. I tried to trade for him. Um, he got fucking uh, Callaway, another linebacker. He got the fucking defensive back, Bennett Harrison, uh, cornerback. He got the quarterback in place. He got the receiver and Terry. Um, he got the running back he drafted. So, you know, everything is in place, but he is in a tough division, man. He got to play uh, two of the top five <laughs> uh, that's on our list today, the Jets and the, and the, and the Dolphins. He got to play them twice a year, and then he got to play the Patriots. So that's a tough division, but he got to find a way, you know what I mean, to break through, you know what I mean, with all that time. All right, Bills, I'm going to give you the secret. got to go to Google and just type in how to beat ebooks. You're welcome. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tabletop, you heard it first, man. My man KP just gave you the secrets, man. How to beat e-books. If you need, to, you need to spell check or whatever, let me know. All right. Let's move on. So so let, let's go around and around. Is it panic or is it patience with the Buffalo Bills? I'm going to start with um, King Vitamin. Man, why? It's got to be more panic, man, because not only does the turnovers uh, hurt them, but the injuries also, man. Yo, this offseason, man, go out and find you a good trainer, man. <laughs> and maybe that'll help out some, yeah. All right, KP, is it panic? No, patience it's patience. You don't know why? You can't get no worse. What you panicking for? You ain't worrying ain't going to help you. Just be patient. We know you got a secret up your sleeve. He going to magically be all right come high stakes. Hey, Chris Murray, is it panic or is it patience? Let's go. Man, he better pack that shit up for Madden 19 because it's definitely, <laughs> listen, it's definitely panic. This dude probably won a total of five games, I believe. Five or six games out of, what, a total of, what, four seasons? So it's definitely panic. Pack that shit up for Madden 19, man. Hey, Hamilton, I'm going to go ahead and say it's patience for you. Don't don't even fucking worry about Madden 18, man. Just go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and get that uh, special edition Madden 19 and get get to work early. <laughs> get the plays down. Get your playbook set up. Get ready for Madden 19 and try to get the fuck out of Buffalo. This patience for you, buddy. All right, so let's move on. We got an intriguing topic next. Um, as far as panic or patience, we got. The Cincinnati Bengals, man. Like I said, 85 in my mind is definitely a top five user. Um, so can 85 break through and get to the Super Bowl this year? Is it panic or is it patience? I'm going to start with Chris Murray. Man, I think it's, uh, I'm going to have to definitely say patience, just how he's... Ah, I'm split between the two because it seems like every time when Eddie gets to the playoffs, man, key guys seem to just get hurt. I don't know if, like we just said, the Buffalo curse. I don't know if it's the injury curse out there in Cincinnati because it seems like every time we get down to like crunch time, a key guy always goes down. I think if he could find a way to keep his guys healthy, it's definitely, he could definitely make it to the dance here, just like this off the high level that he's playing. Um, so I'm definitely going to see patience on this one. King Vitam, do you agree with that? Is it panic or is it patience for, for the Bengals? Nah, I definitely agree, man. It's patience, man. There ain't no panic in uh, Cincinnati right now. I think that uh, one of the things that uh, kind of hindered him, I know in one game that we played in the playoffs, is that I think he was up by maybe like 10 or 7 points, and 
instead of controlling the clock, man, he basically threw the game away throwing me passes, man. So he's got, you know, the offense and the defensive scheme to make it to the big dance, man. But, you know, just control that clock, man, especially in the playoffs, man. Don't, don't turn the ball over. But, yeah, he's definitely uh, – uh, it's, it's patience with him. Hey, KP, this was your division mate in uh, 17. Y'all had some major battles. Um, so is it panic or is it patient time for 85 and them Cincinnati Bengals? Panic. Panic right now. You're giving up 69 points on defense all year, which is only number one in the league. You're terrible. Uh, he got patience, man. And I think this is this is going to be a strong year for him, uh, especially with his, the way his defense is playing. I didn't look at his opponents. I just looked at the points allowed. And, and 69 through seven games, that's crazy. He going to be all right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go with, with, with panic. And, and I'm going I'm to take the option in. I'm going to use this as a chance to give my man Addy Five some motivation like I did last night, man. Hey, if, I think once he wins... A playoff game or two. I think sometimes he gets to a championship game and uh, early in the cycle. He was in a championship game a couple times. But I think the last two seasons, I want to say it was one and done. So I think once he win that first game, it's going to be, you know, he's going to be tough to beat and get to the Super Bowl. I'm going to say it's, it's definitely panic because I know the type of user and the type of guy Addy Five is. He's a real competitive guy. And in his mind, he feels like he's better than a lot of the people that he's lost to in the playoffs. And so I'm going to say hit the panic button in, in, in Cincinnati. Use that as motivation to get you to the next level and to the Super Bowl. All right. Now, this is a, the next topic is a, is a subject that's near and dear to my heart because I can't stand the Cowboys, to be honest with you. I'm, I don't like the Cowboys in real life, and I don't like how to... Is he's he's a uh, not saying him personally because the guys personally hasn't been done anything to me. But as a thorn in my side, I feel like if Hot Tub wasn't in my way, I probably would have at least two Super Bowls in my mind. So, can anyone dethrone the Cowboys in the NFC? Panic or patience for the rest of the NFC? Y'all know my answer, but I'm gonna wait. We're gonna go around the room. Um, let's start with King Vitamin. Hey, he was in throwing to your side in, in the AFC last cycle. What do you think about uh, <laughs> Hot Tub and them Cowboys? Yeah, he was definitely a damn thorn in my side, man, in the AFC last year, man. Uh, I think he can beat the throne, man. I think, uh, you know, KP has had some good success against him, and you've also won some games against him. I think you made it to the Super Bowl beating him in the uh, NFC Championship game earlier this cycle. Uh and I also think that the Saints, I think Matty Ice can. I thought he was going to do it last year, but he didn't do it. But I think, you know, the more chances he get, I think he can pull it off. So I think he can definitely be the throne, man. I think guys just got to step up, man, and make it happen. Absolutely. Um, KP, you at 6 and 2 right now. I know you just took a bad loss to the Cowboys. Mm. Um, that shit made me want to put wins in the game. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> um,. What do you think about these Cowboys, man? Can anybody dethrone them in, in the NFC? Absolutely. I mean, y'all can't be going into these games like, ooh, I got to play hot tub. Just be like, yeah, I got to play another game, man. Let's roll. I feel like people lose to him before the game starts, man. Absolutely. Like, that shit is That shit makes me laugh. Because you see people and you know their game style and you see them change it up. Like, why are you changing up before he even stops it? Do your thing. Adjust as the game goes. Like, they trying to do extra and be like, ooh, I'm going to try this new thing. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. No, nah, this ain't the time to do that. That's what the lab's for. Focus on your game plan. Adjust when needed. Yeah, try that shit against the Bills, man. Don't try it against the Cowboys. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Hey, try that shit against, against a team like that. Um, when you play um, high tub, man, stick to what, what, what is successful to you. And then, like you said, adjust as the game go on. All right, I'm going to go to Chris Murray. Do you think um, anybody in NFC um, can dethrone the, the Cowboys? And give me a couple of teams that possibly in your mind that can do it. Yeah, man, of course. I have to say, of course, you, uh, Matty Ice. Just watching both of y'all play, man, it's like you're always in the game, but in, like a key turnover just switched the whole momentum over to his side. But definitely watching, you know, you and Matty Ice play against him, uh, you know, I definitely seen that y'all have got the tools, how y'all team is equipped. But definitely got a team that's equipped in place to beat him, and y'all know how the guy play. It just seems that. With that 99 overall team, man, and they stacked up as 
fucking mutt roster that he got, man, is just ridiculous. Like, you know, sometimes I think the computer, uh, you know, helps him out. You know, but I definitely think that you and Mad Dax could dethrone him. Um, but you know, <laughs> I think he's gonna begin dethroned soon. Look at how those contracts is over there out there in Dallas, man. Absolutely, man. Um, like I said, y'all already know my answer. Um, I told y'all at the end of last year that shit's over with. I hope you enjoyed that two time shit. And I don't give a fuck about the regular season. I mean, I'm gonna put like I'm gonna do enough to get in the playoffs. I try a lot of shit out during the regular season, but in the playoff, I, I, I switch back to a different style of brand of football. And so. Um, having said that, I feel like we'll beat him, man. The last two, three games I played him, man, he's gotten away with. It's been, like you said, one or two plays a game that make me just say, what the fuck is Madden doing? <laughs> just go ahead with that bullshit. Um, so the N- this, this is more, mainly for the rest of the NFC. Um, I'm going to go around the room. Uh, vitamin is it panic or is it patience for the rest of the NFC and trying to dethrone the Cowboys? Damn, man, that's a tough ass question, man. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say panic, so it's more patience than panic, but it's a little bit of both, man. I like, like everybody was saying, you just got to play your game, you can't go in changing up shit, and you definitely can't turn the ball over. That's the main thing against him, you can't turn the ball over because. He gets enough breaks as it is, man. So I think it's a little bit, little bit of patience, man. I think dudes are riled up, man, and really ready to get at this dude, man. So I think it's patience. Absolutely. And when you turn the ball over, it's that motherfucker. It's a house call. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't just a regular turnover. It ain't just, okay, you turn the ball over. It's, it's going to the house. Um, all right, Chris Murray, the, the NFC, man. We got, what, 14, 15 teams in the NFC, 16 teams, man. Is it panic or is it patience for the NFC? I say, stop man, uh, I say it's patience, man. The reason why I say patience is because even though how that team is stacked up, man, you got to hit a rebuild stage you know, one point in time before high stage. So I think it's just patience, you know. Like you, like KP said, stick to your game plan. Don't just see hot tub on your goddamn schedule like oh yep, that's a loss i'm just gonna come out and just play hot tub no like you know be competitive man the same way you would play against the bills you know play against hot tub fucking come out there and try to chop his fucking head off man so i say it's patience i say patience absolutely all right so kp did we hey we in the division we gotta play the motherfucker twice a year man mm-hmm. uh, I, 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 i'm excited about it. i love playing twice a year because that gives me more opportunity to see um, see what I have to do in order to adjust in the playoffs. Um, and we beat them one time in the, in the, in the championship game, so I know it, we can do it again. Um, so for you, is it more panic or is it more patience for the NFC and trying to see phone the Cowboys? Absolutely is patience, man. I got a little hidden, hidden motivation right now. Uh, I don't believe anybody else in Dynasty has three-peated, so I'm trying to be the lone person in that category. So I'm going to need everybody stepping the fuck up right now <laughs> and he just beat me in total banners i think he has five now and i only got four so uh it's 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 itching me now uh so it, it's time to turn it up absolutely um i'm gonna say it's panic fuck it for me it's panic I, I, every time i see them out there and when i say that it ain't panic because He's unstoppable. It's panic for the NFC because I'm tired of seeing this motherfucker in the Super Bowl. He's been in four of the five or three of the four. I don't remember how many seasons we had. But the only time he didn't make it to the Super Bowl is when we went to the Super Bowl. And um, so it's panic. Let's get him the fuck out of there. Let's 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 start um, beating this dude. Now, having said that, his contract is fucked up. His, his cap is fucked up. That offensive line... Um, uh, getting older, everybody on the line is like 30, 31. His defensive backs are older, so um, it's time to rebuild over there in Dallas, man. This is a great opportunity for uh, everybody in the NFC to um, come through and you know, get them the fuck out of there, dethrone them. Alright, so that was our new Panic or Patient segment. Let's move on to our next segment. All right, our next segment is Too Legit or Need to Quit. This is one of my favorite segments, man. Um, we got some teams on here who's looking real good right now. But I'm going to go around the room. We're going to go through and we're going to say, are they legit 
or they need to quit. And let's start with Houdini and them Cleveland Browns. Chris Murray, your division mate, is he legit or do he need to quit? I think, man, uh, this season, man, he's legit. You know, he's coming out with a strong passing game. You know, he got you know, some weapons out there to meet guys. Play on his defense. So, uh, he's rolling right now, 5-2 uh, at the bottom of the playoff race right now. I think he got the eighth spot right now. So, I think he's legit this, you know, this season to make a run for the playoffs. But just for the playoffs, I don't think he got the pieces, you know, to contend for a championship. But I definitely think he's legit to make it to the playoffs this year. Okay, King Vitamin, do you agree with that? Is your boy Houdini, is he legit or do we need to quit? Man, I'm going to say legit only because he uh, he struggled the first couple of seasons, but he seems to have turned it around uh, right now. And I can't really see saying somebody's not legit that's in the, uh, the Dynasty Top 10 right now. So I would say he's legit. I mean, it's going to be tough down the stretch. He's got a tough back end schedule, man. He's got the Steelers and the uh, Jets looking like uh, challenging him for that wild card spot. But this season right here would definitely let us know if he's really le legit or not. But right now, I'm going to go with legit. Okay, we got two legits. All right, so KP, do you agree? Is Houdini and them Browns legit or do they, do they need to quit? Need to quit, goddammit. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. Because okay. he ain't winning it this year. He ain't winning it this year. Let's be real. If you ain't winning it, I'm not saying you need to, you know, tank or nothing because I'm going to call you out if you tank. But you do need to get a higher draft pick, man. Improve your squad right now. He just need like one or two more pieces. Absolutely. Um, Houdini and the Browns, let me, let me, let me, <laughs> let me put it to you like this. Your ass need to quit. I looked at your schedule, Okay. <laughs> I look. Let's let's go. Let's go schedule. Let's look at this man's schedule. He he smacked the Chiefs around, but the Chiefs put thirty nine on him. He beat the Falcons. The Falcons only got two wins. The Chiefs got one. Uh, he got rocked by the Panthers. He lost to the Patriots. And he beat uh, Farquhar, who only got two wins. He beat the Colts, who only got two wins. He beat the Ravens, who only got three wins. And he beat the Buffalo Bills. So you tell me, <laughs> hey, look good. He's harvesting his nuts, but your ass need to quit. Because down the stretch, you got the Jets, the Steelers, the Bengals, the Dolphins, the Steelers, the Saints, and the Bengals. All those are losses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight losses in my... <laughs> hey, your ass need to quit. You ain't making the playoffs. Um, I mean, I'm looking at your schedule. Prove me wrong. Because right now, I I'm going to say the Jets is a loss. The Steelers is a loss. The Bengals a loss. The Dolphins a loss. You might, you might can can split with the Steelers. That's being hopeful. The Saints is an L, and the Bengals is another L. So right there, that's putting you around about five hundred. So in my mind, hey, your ass need to quit. All right, let's move on to a team that's taking advantage of uh, that boy Good getting hit, uh, rolling out. Uh, we got Darkness and the Raiders. I'm going to start with uh, Chris Murray. Um, is them Raiders legit or they need to quit? And listen, like you just said, let's go record. Man, I think they need to quit. Played against the Ravens. Well, I think that's what skill trade. The Ravens, man, ain't got no weapons out there. Beat the Rams. The uh, Rams Tony, uh, Taz is struggling with them. It seems like, man, it's just got that team. I don't know doing whatever they want them to do. Beat the Chief, Mo. You know, he just come to play. And I think he beat the Chargers, the Bolts, uh, the guy that came for a glass of lemonade and clearly was here just to, I don't know, be here to do whatever. But, yeah, man, he need to quit. Like, I don't see nobody on the first half of the season that's even above average that he played. Nobody. I mean, he got a win against the, the Texans, but I think that was an F, a force W, I believe, right? Uh, yeah. Expert was out of town, but yeah, man, you need to quit, man. Yeah, you need to quit. Right. Hey, Vitamin, you agree with that? Do the Raiders, are the Raiders legit, or do they need to quit? Man, that's my man, Darkness, too, man. We was in the division together last year, and we played some tough games, man, but he got to step it up, man. Uh, his back half is, is, is tough because he's got us several division games left he's got the broncos i mean yeah he's got the broncos twice and then he also has the charges i don't know if that's going to be cpu charges or if it's going to be user charges but 
I don't know, Darkness, man. Yeah, I think you're going to have to quit, man. Just step it up, uh, Darkness, and see if you can get it right for 19. But right now, man, you got to quit. KP, is Darkness and the Rays, are they legit? Or do they need to quit? Legit. And I'm going to tell you why he's legit. Uh, the Chiefs, uh, the Mr. Three Teams, the Broncos. I mean, if he can split with the Broncos, he can win the division straight up. That's all he got to worry about. If he try to make the playoffs, so I'm gonna give him legit because I think he's gonna win the division. Absolutely, hey darkness, hey, hey, your ass legit, man. And I'm gonna tell you why. I kind of was gonna piggyback off what KB was saying. I was thinking that too. Um, his division is trash. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna. I can't, I can't even really, you know, put it any other way. It's, it's, it's just garbage. It's trash. Um, that boy good was running that division. He left. He's taking advantage. He's taking advantage of it. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. He hey, got the Broncos. That shit was so shitty. It brought Ness out of retirement. He said, "Well, I can win this, Joe. I'm coming back." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, Ness seen the opportunity. <laughs> just like that, hey, he's just like a shark in, in, in the water with some steaks or some piranhas. He smelt blood, and Ness said, "Fuck that. I, I, I take the Chargers. I bet you will." <laughs> Um, but look, the Raiders down the stretch, man. They got they got some winnable games, man. They got the Broncos twice. They have um, the Chargers. We don't know who's gonna be on that squad. They got the Seahawks, the Colts, the Bills, and the Cardinals. So just looking at that schedule, man, the dude can fuck around and win eleven or twelve games, be in the playoffs and host a host a home playoff game. And just based off of that, I'm gonna say he's legit. All right, so. Moving on, let's go with those Carolina Panthers. Hey, KP, are the Carolina Panthers legit, or do they need to quit? Ah, man, I hope he wasn't coming to me first on this one. This one, I don't know. I like the players on this team, but like he's, he's like the Browns to me. He's not a consistent user, and that's what his fault is. It's like he tries to change up his game plan just a little too much. Um, he's kind of more in shootouts rather than relying on his defense. And if you're a shootout team, you tend to lose in the end. So I'm going to have to say you can go ahead and quit. Okay, we got to need to quit. Hey, Vitamin, you agree with that? Are the Carolina Panthers legit or do they need to quit? Man, once again, man, another one of those teams that's in the Dyn- Dynasty Top 10, man. And uh, right now, he does have uh, two division wins, and he's controlling his own destiny, man. He can he can make the playoffs, man. I think when he plays Matty Ice again, that's going to be a, you know, well, I mean, actually, Matty Ice did beat him. So, but I still think, that, yeah, they split. They split. But he has the, the Buccaneers left. And um, I, I think that right now, I think he's legit, man. I think he's legit right now. Hey, Chris Murray. What's up with uh, C-Rob and them pandas, man? Are they legit, or do they need to quit? I'm gonna say legit. I mean, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna say need to quit. The reason why I say <laughs> this is because, listen, no, no, I'm gonna tell you why. His, like you just, like KP just said, each game it seems like he's in the shootout, you know? If your defense can't seem to either attempt to slow somebody down, come playoff time, out there in the NFC, which is, you know, tough, even though, you know, my eyes, you know, how to run it, but you gotta come playoff time, know how to slow somebody down. And also, watching the couple of his games, I watched both of his games with Matty Ice. It seems like in crucial moments, you want to switch up and try to do something, I guess, to, you know, throw the monkey wrench out there or whatever. But I might just need to quit, man, just because his defense can't seem to slow nobody down, man. Watching that game, last game with him and Matty, man. Listen, I just, you need to quit, man. I think you need to quit. That's all. That's, that's just me. Absolutely, man. This was a tough one. I think this was probably my toughest um, one to go out over. Um, he, he he puts up 31 a game. He's giving up 23. Um, but on defense, man, this man is giving up everything. He's, he's just bending over and saying, come get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so based off of that, man, but when I look at his schedule, the back end of his schedule, he probably have a good chance of making the playoffs at least, um, possibly. Um, so I'm going to say he's kind of legit, um, but you kind of need to quit too, see, Rob? So you need to quit giving up all them fucking yards and, and points. That's what you need to quit doing. <laughs> or 
either A, you're not going to make the playoffs, or B, it's going to be a one and done situation. All right. So let's move on to our last team. And we just talked about the Raiders and the AFC West. We got another team that's taking advantage of, of the situation and the Denver Broncos. So, Chris Murray, do the Broncos, are they legit or do they ass need to quit? I say, uh, they need to quit also, man. Because it seems like defense, you know, defense, man, come playoff time, you have to know how to s- slow the, your opponent down, get your defense off the field on third down and just watching a couple of tone games man seem like his defense you know can't seem to figure things out in clutch moments so man I'm gonna take to quit hey KP are the Broncos legit or do they need to quit wrap it up see you later <laughs> get ready for the draft brother <laughs> he can't I, I don't know I, I'm with I'm with the same assessment man like that defense I'm not a fan of it uh, I mean, he might he might switch it up. You never know. But um, I don't know. I just haven't seen anything from him that I was like, yo, he about to he about to make a run. So I think he can go ahead and wrap it up. Hey, Vitamin. All right, are the Denver Broncos in tone is is the leader of them Broncos? Are they legit, or do they need to quit? Yeah, this is a tough one too, man. But I'm, I'm gonna go with legit only because he does have an opportunity to win that division. You know, he's he set his up self up pretty nice, man. Like the back the back end of his schedule is, is not very it's tough it's at cook, all. It's cook it's cake, cake and ice cream. The back end of his schedule. I'm just looking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real sweet, man. You know, he he's got um he got the Steelers. He got my man the Steelers right here at the the last game of the of the season. But the rest of those games, man, are very winnable games for him, man. So that's why I have to go legit. And I agree with you, man. I'm gonna say tone when it, I mean I just this just me freshly looking at the, the schedule now. Darkness got a little bit of harder schedule going forward. Um, so, but both of them have an opportunity to get into the playoffs just based off of their schedules. But but this schedule right here is cake, ice cream, cookies. I mean, you can you can really uh, rack up some points, some yards, some wins. I mean, you talking about harvesting your nuts. If you don't make the playoffs based off the schedule, then um, we might have to give his ass the boot. <laughs> All right, so look, that was our legit or need to quit segment. You know what I mean? Um, with, with uh, the teams that we had. I mean, I, I had another couple of teams that we could have went with as well. Um, but um, that was our legit or need to quit segment. Um, now, this is our last segment of, of the show. And this is one of my favorite segments. It's called Say It With Your Chest. All right, so look, if you got anything to say to Dynasty, or to a user in your division or to a user, period. This is your opportunity, man. You got the floor. And I'm going to start with my man, King Vitamin. Hey, Vitamin, say it with your chest. Man, I really don't have shit to say, man. Really, everything is good with me and the Dynasty, man. I would say this right here, man. Yo, we got to take some points away, some some uh, high stake points away from these guys switching teams, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, you pick your team based on the way you played in the season, man. But, you know, and that ain't really a shot at my man Ness because I know Ness going to come in and ball the hell out with them charges, man, because he's a, he's a phenomenal player, man. But that's something we need to look at for real. But that's what's on my shirt. Okay, that's 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 an interesting take, especially this late in the cycle. If if you switching teams, but my man, you know, if, if it is what it is at this point. Um, hey, hey, KP, you got the floor, man. Hey, say it with your chest. Shout out to my homie Ness, man, and I fucks with him because no matter how much shit I give him, he knows it's all love. So shout out, Mister Three Teams. I appreciate you, homie. Uh, but what I need to talk about is these trades. The Browns oh. in real life made four trades in 24 hours. They, wow. They'd be kicked out of Dynasty. They would be penalized. Let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. I think, and I think we also need to talk about discussing uh, having the tag and trade available as an option, not just because of the Jarvis Landry, but if we're using the trade calculator, it's going to penalize you for him being on a one-year deal anyway. And you're going to have to take that huge cap penalty to move that player. So it's going to take a smart GM to even be able to pull off a move to be able to tag and trade a player like that. So I think 
opening up trades and allowing tagging trades could be something that could make that more sim. Let's get to that more sim. Hey, KP, let's take it one step at a time. Uh, can we just open the trades back up? Fuck this, the tag and trade right now. Let's let's tra- let's take baby steps. Um, hey, commission, commissions, y'all listening? Um, we'll we'll we will settle because <laughs> uh, me and KP is the law firm. We will settle for uh, unlimited trades, and we'll work on this, the the sign and trade later. <laughs> let us let us let us put it up for vote. Let us put up for vote. That's what I petition. Hey, let's do that. You heard it first, man. My man KP said it with his chest. Hey, Chris Murray, you on Dynasty uh, Prime Time for the first time. Um, and at the end of the show, man, it's, it's up to you. You got the floor. Say it with your chest, big dog. Man, listen, man. Get the fuck out of your feelings, man. That's that, 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 that that's, that's all I got to see with my chest, man. You know, we all grown here. We all can voice our opinions, say what we want to say. You know, if you if you want to be on some whole shit, getting your feelings like a female, just lead a group now, man. Because it's gonna be some shit that's gonna be said that you ain't gonna like. Everybody not gonna agree with you, but at the end of the day, don't be all men. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I gotta see with my chest. See how you fucking feelings, man. That's okay, it, man. my man, my man, Chris Murray said, man, stop being a bitch. Okay, that's what I heard. Damn, he man. said, stop being a bitch, man. Hey, we grown men. Uh, I'm going to say some shit to hurt some people's feelings. I know I am. Okay. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you know, I don't take shit personally. Me personally. I mean, if you say something I don't agree with, fuck it. I don't agree with it. But at the end of the day, you know, man, it is what it is. I see your ass on the field. Let's go back. Um, <laughs> all right. So, look, let me say it with my chest. I got a couple things real quick. Um, first off, um, Let's just throw in this motherfucker hot tub, man. Fuck, I, that shit is irritating me to, to no end because I play him, he gets lucky, he gets some bullshit. Okay, he win. Okay, that shit over with, man. Hey, uh, everybody, <laughs> NFC, AFC, this man is on some type of 40 game or whatever the fuck win streak it is. Pull up your fucking britches. Stop going into the game scared. Play your fucking game. And, and, and strike iron, man. Get him the fuck out of here. Let's stop this bullshit. Because he, he's a good user, but he's not the best user I've ever played. I mean, so I don't understand why, you know, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? As far as the dude winning all these fucking games. So um, go into the game, play your fucking game. My other thing I want to say with my chest is LP, you got your ass destroyed. You let that man throw for 10 fucking touchdowns. And drop eighty some points. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Shout out to my man Matty Ice, man. I know he got hit with a violation, but fuck, uh, LP, you should have got the violation too for letting that man throw ten touchdowns for real, real life. Um, basically, you got your asshole reamed out. Um, let that man throw for ten fucking touchdowns and drop eighty four on you. Um, so that is wild as fuck. Um, but that's pretty much what I got to say for, for Dynasty Prime Time, man. It's been a long time. I want to thank all who jumped on the show. My man, Chris Murray. I want to thank my man, uh, King Vitamin. And, of course, my man, my division mate, uh, KP. Hey, y'all, thanks for jumping on the show. Always. My pleasure, man. My pleasure. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, man. Absolutely. And I want to thank my man, Matty Ice, for getting all these uh, producing points, man. Hey, you looking real good for high stakes with this producer action, man. But jump on the show next time. Um, but hey, that's it, man. This is Dynasty Prime Time, and we are out. The Dynasty Madden League Network, the worldwide leader in CFM.